Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of our Ammonia Save. So, it is now Season 5. My god, it's been a long one for us. But a good one. So, now, new season, bit of a new team, new competitions, and new things happening. We have some bad news. Unfortunately, um, we've gone down in terms of the uh, ability of the league. No, it's uh, rules. Yeah, so, now we only get it in the first qualifying round. The second place is Europa League qualifiers, and these are qualifiers, and now these are qualifiers there. So it's it's definitely gone down, which is not great to see. Now, we as a team have continuously moved up, and we're in a much better standing in terms of a uh, club. We're higher in the European coefficients ranking, which is nice to see. Now, we now are, since we finished second, we enter in the Europa League path second qualifying round, meaning that we have to just win two games, I believe, to be able to advance oh sorry two group so four games we just got to get through four games winning two because we get through the the second and then the third round and then we should be good which would be the the big yep see uh second i think maybe two or three ties then maybe maybe three ties but we're doing well so we're we're we've been doing well freezing so i'm feeling good about that now we only lost one game three to two only two games we've conceded goals in which isn't that three games, but I don't really count this as one. Uh, and yeah, so I'm feeling feeling pretty good at that. But I think we'll go through some of the the movement we've had. Uh, it's been a bit of a busy window so far. Obviously, uh, we didn't we didn't get to renew any of the signings. Um, we did look to bring in this guy, but uh, he accepted a contract from Applewell and uh, went back to them went back to them over staying with us. Unfortunate, but. That's how it happens. Now, we've had uh, five signings come in. We've had six departures. Um, so, first departure, uh, Gulosevic. Gulosevic, uh, he's left us. Did okay for us, just didn't really ever hit the heights that I was expecting. Not bad, but we've brought someone in who you guys, I think, will enjoy a lot more. But, yeah, decent career with us so far. Did some good stuff like that. Not gonna... I'm not sad to see him go, but I've Decently happy with what he was able to provide for us. Now, Kasama, uh, obviously he came in, moaned, like, oh, I don't want to be here anymore, did it after one game, which was bizarre that he just started moaning and complaining. So he played one game for us, scored a goal, and then we fucked, off to, we fucked him off to the Netherlands. And then he left and uh, went to the team. They exercised their buyout option. Now, our uh, Greek... Wonder Kid Forward has been loaned out. Uh, he's going to get some good time, good experience, and uh, hopefully play pretty well. He did good for us in terms of the non-competitive fixtures. I won't be able to see that, but he did pretty well. Um, Alush, no longer a spot in the team, so he's been sent out. I wanted to try to sell him, but unfortunately we can only really get him out on loan. But he's been sent out on loan. We won't have to worry about his contract, and that's going to be good for us. Uh, on top of that, Valencia, who's returned from loan, shipped him right back out on loan. So he'll get some good time at a solid team. He's going to be playing in the third division, which will be good to see. So we'll get him some hopefully good experience, and uh, he'll do pretty well. Obviously, he's already developing really nicely. Just that passing, we got to hope to improve, and some of the dribbling. A few other stats there, but he's looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited about him. And then finally, our Ukrainian midfielder has come back from loan, and we've sent him right back out again just to get some more time and experience. He is obviously a Ukrainian player, so because of that, and he only has one nationality, he is not, um, he's not a Cypriot citizen yet, so he needs to, we need him to play longer because right now we're just on the edge of uh, not having enough people, so it's a bit of a problem, but <clears throat> we're, we're working on it, we're going through it because it's kind of annoying, but it's how it goes at times. Just taking the time. Now, the players we got, uh, I think we'll start with the big one. This is what we're really excited about. So this guy's come through at Applewell. We've got him on loan with an option to buy for 875000 I believe. Uh, where is it? Here. 875 k is the optional future fee. We're paying a lot of money, but i think he could be amazing if he turns out to be as good as we hoping maybe he could play up here he could play in this role and i was thinking more of a deep lane playmaker just because i don't like the dribbling 
and I think the dribbling would be a lot better. Um, I don't know, I just feel like is uh, the dribbling holds him back. Well, this is just a little better. Anticipation, composure, we can work on. The other stuff is really solid as well. So I just feel like a deep line playmaker, he's probably going to be a bit better at than uh, the advanced playmaker is all. But um, we'll see how he fares. We have both roles. He'll try him out this season. We'll see. But really, really good stats here. Just amazing. And uh, I think we've possibly got a really good loan to buy deal on our hands and could be a really big piece of business for me. Obviously, um, he's not going to be trained at the club, but he will be trained in Cyprus, which is nice. Now, we've done the classic, bring in the goalkeeper. He's homegrown. I wanted a third choice goalkeeper, homegrown keeper. So he's not going to really, I think, ever play for us, but he's trained in Cyprus. So he fills those requirements. At center back, we brought in Momo. Um, his name's Mbai. 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 I forget how you say his name. Mbai. But, uh, but yeah, he looks pretty solid. He's going to be a backup to Kabwala for us. But uh, pretty damn good. I'm happy with his pace uh, and stamina, stuff like that. First touch is okay, but some decent stats all around. So looks like he'll be a solid player. Leading player for the division. Consistent jumping reach. Likes big games. One-footedness, not in love with that. But you know what? We're pretty happy. I think he'll be decent. He stacks up pretty well against the other center backs we have. Um, I can go obviously being kind of the weaker one now, but I'm, I'm satisfied for sure with that. And uh, hopefully he'll do well and perform pretty solid. I'm not expecting to be a world beater, but it's good signing. It's adult, older player with a solid enough personality and could be helpful in the future. Now, the two big ones. 19-year-old, um, uh, Ivishia Iv Evika Kostov. So this is Kostov. He looks brilliant in my opinion. Um, Lighthearted. He just looks so good. Um, we're playing him as an advanced playmaker on attack. I think he's going to be great at this. It looks like he'll be fantastic at this role. The decisions is the really big one for me. 13 player. The 15 work rate and the 14 stamina. Just for me, push it over the edges. He's going to be an unreal player for us. Now, uh, the bravery and consistency aren't there, which is one of the things that I'm not totally concerned, uh, not totally thrilled with, just because I don't want him to be like too scared to do anything, because I do like a little pressure from the front. But I am excited. I think he's going to be a really, really good player. And at 19 years old, we have someone who can be amazing. Unfortunately, he cannot be trained in the country, but he can gain separate citizenship. Though, actually, we don't have to worry, because I forgot. Yeah, he, the two guys I brought in, one of the reasons I brought both of them in is they have... Uh, other nationalities. He's also Bulgarian. He's Macedonian and Bulgarian. So that's pretty good. He also speaks about every freaking language in the world, which is kind of insane. Um, but yeah, kind of unreal. So he's also Bulgarian. Um, and now this man, the new number nine to lead the line, a leading player in the league, is insane. Has smashed it in preseason. He's got 16 goals in six games. He's got over two goals a game. Unreal. We've signed him out of the Serbian, I think, second division now. Um, I believe this is the second division. No, it's the first division. Yeah, we signed him from the Serbian first division. And what a player this man looks like he could be. 17 goals last season in the first division for a team that... Uh, uh, we actually don't know where they finished, but 17 goals last season in the division. Brilliant from him. Um, 400k we got him in for. I think it's an absolute steal. It could raise a little bit to around nearly 600k, but I am thrilled to have him. The pace, the the, the physicals and stuff like that, mentals, not amazing, but the, the ones that are going to matter for us are really good. And then the big three, the dribbling, finishing, and the first touch, insane. Composure 13, heading 14. He's 6-2. Just unreal. He's got 12 determination, which isn't that bad, and I am expecting him to be amazing. Off ball, I would like it to be improved. I think we're training that. No, I'm training the work rate right now because I'm not thrilled with that, but we'll take what we can get, obviously. Like, he's not the, he's not going to be a world beater at this level, so we got to find what we can do, improve them, and get them even better, and I'm just really, really excited because looks amazing. Now, we also are looking to bring in a 19-year-old uh, Angolan player who is, surprise, surprise, Angolan and Portuguese. Um, now, the goal is to is to get him in and uh, train him as an inverted winger on this side. 
Uh, obviously, it'd be a little tough, and some of the stats here are not the best. But the thing I'm looking at are the physicals, the passing, and then a few of the mentals is what I'm really excited about. The determination is incredible, but at 19, I'm hoping we can kind of fix it. And for the price, which is currently only 125k, I think he's well worth 125k because the return is going to be amazing. And he currently plays for a team in the third division of Portugal. So I think it's worth a shot, it's worth a chance, and uh, we'll take a punt on him, especially because we have two starters. So we can risk bringing him in and uh, not having him be a uh, starter right away. So yeah. Now the other two spots, we do need players are, we need backup fullbacks. We only have one of each right now. Uh, Caragianis and Santos are the only two we have available. But you know what? It's a process. We're trying to get people in. I still need more players trained in Cyprus. I've struggled to get fullbacks. I don't know why. I just haven't really found one that I want. There's one that I found, but he's one of my two German clubs that I cannot compete with. And I'm talking like first division. So there's no shot in the competition level there. So I'll keep looking, keep trying to find players, and hopefully I can manage to get something soon so that we don't, uh, don't miss out. But yeah, I think it's time that we get into the games and um, see if we can't push forward and get and uh, advance in the first put ourselves in a great spot to advance in the first round so Costa will get his debut for us and I'm happy with the team already um, I think obviously we should probably look U21s if there are any guys that can play can you play he can't particularly play oh here we go here's one Will they let us bring him on? Oh no, what what I did I meant that. Uh okay, no, he's a youth it's okay to have a youth contract, so that's good. We can have him. Let's see. Um I think he's a little better than this guy. Yeah. Alright, we'll put him in. So we get an extra winger. On this guy because he can sort of play it so so youth players people off the bench and uh, I'm all set I think we're good to go the best team we have um, and yeah mama did mama Dal, the Azerbaijani player we have and the Russian player are both gonna be in the first team of the season I'd like to have some of those in the first team but in terms of squad um, requirements and the fact that some of them still need to become homegrown or grown for the club and stuff like that it's going to take a little bit of time so we do have to wait on them but yeah i've also have found a new face pack that i have to install uh it should be downloading sometime later after i record all do that so maybe we'll get a few more faces because it's the latest update for one i have not done one uh since the beginning of the year and so hopefully the january and the new year updates to the face pack will be uh nice and maybe get a few more faces i think we only really have two to worry about but could be lovely now, Mosi starting off, great start to his career. Oh, almost a, an amazing start to Shrem, Shremsevich. I think Shremsevich, Shremsevich. I don't know how you're going to say his name, but nearly an incredible start to his career for us. The corner is cleared, though, and, uh, well, that's a bit of a barrage to start. Five shots in the opening couple minutes. I'm feeling great about this right now. Sestic to Caragianis. Back to him. Unai. Kostov. Oh, lovely. Oh, law. Almost incredible from us. Nice. Nice job, Unai. Can find Kalsberg who can hit it over. Can he fall? What a finish that is. He's going to be unreal. <laughs> he is going to destroy this league. What a finish. Are you joking? Look at this. Takes his time. Bottom corner. He is going to be unreal. We have found an absolute gem right there. Yes, Xavier. Can we make it two even earlier on? kalsberg has got it again. Can he find the finish? He's passed it off. Oh, it's two. They've done it again. <laughs> the 
this is going to be brilliant if this is our attack this season. Oh my god, I cannot be happier right now. What a way to start this game. Oh, is there more? A hat trick in 10 minutes. No, please don't. I'm going to be obs I'm going to be thrilled. Mossy lovely control. Kalsberger on the outside again. Can he get the cross in? Header. Oh, he's done it! He's done it! It's a hat trick in 10 minutes on his debut. A 10 minute hat trick on his debut. Oh my word. Three minutes! It's a three minute hat trick from him. Three? <laughs> oh my word. I think Kalsberg's got every assist. No, 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 Xavier, don't do it to him. Oh my. Oh my god, what a start to this game. We, we're gonna be through at this point. Header, oh! Lovely, 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 lovely play. Oh my god, it's the 15th minute, there's another highlight. This is unreal. That should be easy. I, it's on key? It is. Come on, let's not concede now. Yes, Kalsberg, lovely positioning. Can he get the cross in? Ah, uh, Kostov can't gather, but Mossy can get it back to Kalsberg. And drive forward, but it's tackled. Santos, oh, sorry, Unai. They look so similar. Oh, Kambola. Good little touch to get around. Santos, down the line to Xavier. Is there a cross? He's going to clip it. It's the header. Oh my god, it's four. He's got four in his first game for us. 15 minutes. This man scored four goals since the he scored in the eighth and he hasn't stopped. Four goals in eight minutes. Four goals in eight. This has got to be one of the best, best signings I've ever made. No. Oh my god. This is a demolition. This is a demol. It's five in 20 minutes. This might beat Newcastle's demolition of Tottenham. Are you kidding me right now? This is insane. You know what's even better? We're not expected to win this tie. Nor did the board think we were going to win. The fans said loss. The board said draw. I think they're just discrediting how good I am at building this. No. No, Xavier. Don't cross this here. Oh, Mike. I was about to say. Santos, have one. Have one, man. Oh, it's, why not? Oh, Unai, too much on the ball. Come on, guys, counter-press him. Counter-press him. This is lovely. This is lovely. That's great. Forced him back. We're still pressing. Oh, we can win it. Cost off. Unai to Santos to cost. Oh, what a pass. What a finish. Are you joking? Are you fucking joking? Cost off, take a bow. What a ball this is from the young man. This pass from the 19 year old. What a pass. This is ridiculous. It's six in the first. It's six through 30 minutes. We're only going to play one game. I don't even need to worry about the second. No, Kostov, what a ball again. Oh my god, it's seven. Kostov, what a pass again. What a pass again from the man. Oh, what a team I've built. What a team I've fucking built. <laughs> I could never imagine this. Another. Is it gonna? Could we score 10 in the first half? Cost off. Oh my god, I thought that was in. This is ridiculous. This is absurd. No, no, no. Oh my god, he's got six. He has six goals. He has six in one game! This is his debut! And he scored six in the first half!
This can't be happening. Oh my god, he's got it again. Is he gonna if he scores from here? Oh, Xavier. Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me! This is it's nine in forty minutes! This is a Europe this is a this is the Europa League qualifiers. No, I mean like this is unreal. That's one in three shots in the first nine and nil at halftime. I'm just gonna put on bench players. Why should I even? I'm making five subs. I know he's not natural, but I'm just gonna make all the subs I can. Why not? Right? Get he's gonna get his debut. Yeah, let's get some get some young players. We'll save one in case of an injury. But yeah, we'll get players on. Let's get them their debuts. 45 minutes with the team. Let's get them on. To the two young players and two two of the new guys. Let's get them. Let's make these subs. Because you know what? We we risk losing some of our better players. And the young guys, who we've now signed, get get great experience and time to play, which is fantastic. I'm just concerned about. It. I think Santos might have to come off because he's looking tired. Oh, oh! What a star that would have been for <laughs> for our midfielder that we got on loan. Now we're training him in this position, so he's not going to be totally comfortable. He's obviously very comfortable on the other wing, but um, hopefully he can he can do well. And I'm sure getting game time like this. <laughs> How has that not gone in? But I, I'm i sure stuff like this will make a big difference. Xavier's going to swing it in. The header is headed clear. I, I'd love if we could get to double digits. That would be amazing. Double digits. I've never had double digits in a game I've played in a competitive game before. This would be amazing. Header. Oh my. I mean, double digit. Also, this might be the first game. I could have three players on tens right now. Because Kostov's on a ten. <laughs> Samrevich and Kalsberg are both on tens as well. Kostov, Xavier. I was just ready for that to be in the back of the net. Oh, I forgot. Momo, if Momo plays, he's going to have to play on the left. So we'll have to obviously swap that. Um, I'll just have to set uh, set player instructions when I play them in those positions so that they do it. So I forgot. That's something I should do. So I'll adjust that. Because I don't, I don't want Momo as a lefty playing at a right center back because that's not good. Come on now, guys. Can you get me one goal in the second half? One goal would be lovely. I cannot say I'm thrilled with Costa right now. What a ball. Xavier. Oh my word, how has that not got in? His first goal ever for us could have come in that, but no. Oh, Costa. All over the top. Easy for Momo. Oh, Momo, why? Why, man? I really need to start giving people nicknames so I can actually say their names instead of just butchering the hell out of them. I do like Momo. I will call him that now. I'm going to call him Chris. What a pass. Ah, it's 10! It's 10! The two boys I signed on trial. The first or second season, I forget when, combined... To score a goal, to make it 10, my first ever competitive game in FM where I've scored 10 goals. Oh my god, this is awesome. Could it be more? Could it be more? Oh, it should be more. It should be. Right now, the two new signings are struggling a little here. Oh, 
We'll give this young man a chance. Make his professional debut. 20 minutes to go. 10-0. I don't think we need to worry about anything. Great ball to the back post. They've combined for two. They've combined for two and it's 11. It is 11 to zero. Buddy, this is away from home. Like, we're not even home right now. This is in Azerbaijan, I think. Right? Yeah, we're in Azerbaijan. Xavier swings it in. Header back post over the top. Bamat. Yeah, I'm going to call him Bamat. 35. Oh, they picked up three shots. Momo's got a good rating now. How is their goalkeeper on a 5.7? 11 to 0. 1, 2, 3 tens. <clears throat> that is unreal. He scored six goals. What a debut. What a debut. <laughs> I'm in disbelief. What a debut. I'm just, I can't believe I just did that. He got only two assists and he got a 10 as well. He is going to be amazing. I'm saying it right, we're winning the league. What? Where am I expected to finish now? Only fourth. Who do we have in the lineup? We have Kamwala, Sestic, and uh, Shremsebe. I'm going to find out how to say his name. So we only have three in. But two of them are like the two best players. Three in the top three in the league. Because Van Heck, will, uh, yeah, he's probably going to be one of the best. Paul Van Heck is unreal. Yeah, I was going to say, he's, um, he's amazing. So I'm not surprised. <clears throat> but yeah, wow. What a signing he is already. What a signing he is already. What assist do he picked up? My god. Well, thank you for joining for that. My word, what a game. What a game. What do they, what do they say? This has got to be the most A plus I've ever seen. The number one most A plus game ever. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to catch up on any further matches with this team that we started the season winning 11 mil with, you can by hitting this the notification bell next to the subscription button. If you want to catch up on any of the past seasons, including the league title wins, the promotions, the cup victories, and things, you can by checking out the playlist linked at the end of this video as well as the one that's linked in the comments below. Thank you again for watching everyone, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one.